right, today I'm going to show you how to take this rear panel off of the Shark uh, Navigator Liftaway series. I think the model number is N NV352 for this particular type. Um, they don't make it easy with these, so I'll just walk you through the basics and then I'll speed up the film to show you how to take off the belt and all the other things. Obviously, you're going to want to you're going to want some screwdrivers. A Phillips head and flathead is what I use, but just for prying for the flathead. Uh, take off the obvious screws, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four obvious ones. The ones you might miss, there's two underneath the, these little wheels. The actual wheels aren't on this one. And what you need to do is pop these little cylinders out, and when you put them back, you kind of use a screwdriver to pop them back into place. Um, and then I'll show, and then there's actually two more screws that you might miss. Well, there's two that are right here. They're pretty obvious. But then there's one down in this crevice right here. Two, well, two down in these crevices. Okay, and now if this is the first time you've done this, it's probably it's going to have a few little pops and stuff that you might need to work it a little bit. But basically, once you get those screws off, it just comes right off. All right, once you take the cover off, um, one of the more, more common things that people do is change out the brush or do some maintenance on the belt. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. The easiest way to get this off here is not to try to pull it off or, or do anything. It's actually very easy. There's two little slots where this black piece is on either side. And you just easily lift it out of there, well, at least on one side, where you can get the belt off. And this has the same situation on the other end. level to do it but and then you just pop that off and you can replace this or whatever um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory uh, these motors have very easy um, connectors so if you had to get a spare part or whatever it should be pretty easy to replace um, these wheels pop off pretty easy as well um, and putting it back together basically just reverse